guys happy 2020 this is actually my first video ever in this new apartment i actually moved in november 2019 and i've been through a really hectic and adventurous time if you guys have been following my insta stories i had a cockroach infestation and that was lovely imagine finding cockroaches in your kitchen countertop in the utensils drawer bedroom closet i thought i was living alone and apparently i was not after like a torturous two months i finally got rid of those cockroaches with that being said because it's a new year we all know it is the time to make resolutions personally for me i feel like it's the easiest to fulfill my goals and resolutions when i actually write down a list of goals i want to fulfill throughout the year and also steps on how to get there with just writing goals emptily and not writing any steps on how to get there or what you want to achieve it's going to be really hard to follow through with that pretty much i made a list of new year's resolutions that i want to share with you guys so i can get it out to the universe get it out to you guys it just makes it more effective when you're actually saying these goals out loud if you just have goals that you keep mentally in your head it's not really that important or significant if you're not saying it out loud or writing it down without further ado let's get started on what i want to conquer in 2020 Number one tops the list for almost everybody's New Year's resolutions, and this is a healthier diet. It's not about body goals, it's not about bikini goals. For me, it's actually about overall health. Over time, the surplus amount of food that I really didn't need at these events or these parties, it added up in my weight and overall health, and I could see it not only physically, but I could feel it mentally as well. Huge goals for 2020 is to lose that weight, and not just the number weight, as long as I feel fulfilled, happy, lighter, and comfortable with my body, then I'm happy. I don't have a numeric goal because some people put a numeric goal on their weight, but they're still not healthy. People who just think they can be a certain weight doesn't necessarily mean you're healthy. Like you can have this really, really skinny model or skinny girl who barely eats, but that doesn't necessarily mean she's healthy. You should be putting nutritious and healthy meals into your body, working out and doing all of that stuff in order to contribute to a healthier lifestyle. There are three specific things I incorporated in this goal in order to make sure I follow through with this healthier lifestyle and diet resolution which include portion control drinking more water and incorporating more veggies into my meals all of these factors play a significant role in helping me lose weight and achieve a healthier lifestyle overall when i eat i actually am consciously thinking do i need more food than this or can i eat later like in an hour or two can i eat something healthier to fill me up how i help get over my hunger faster is i would either drink more water so i'm full before i actually start on my meal or i would actually add salads into the actual meal i'm eating if you can swap an unhealthy meal for something with salad, I visually notice a difference in the size of my stomach. It was a lot more slimmer, felt lighter, less bloated. That is a feeling that I love whenever I'm going through my day. I hate feeling really fatigued, bloated, lethargic. That's just a feeling that does not make me productive and I am a workaholic. In order to help my work lifestyle, I actually have to take care of my health physically as well. Moving forward, definitely more salads and definitely more water. Also, if you guys want to take the extra step in just being more mindful, about your nutrition you can download the free mobile app my fitness pal i used it years ago and i actually lost 10 pounds really easily really fast and i was running every single day alongside that it helps you track your calorie intake in addition to other nutrients that you are consuming and what i love about this app as well is the fact that as a barcode scanner so if you're holding like a box of cereal you can scan that item's barcode and it'll literally pop up on the app with the entire nutrition label. And honestly, this is super convenient if you feel like it's really hard to monitor what you're eating, how much you're eating. My fitness pal is the way to go. I'll include my username down here so you guys can add me as a friend. I'll add you guys back. I love it. I personally used it. If you guys feel like you need the extra help, my fitness pal is the way to go. So the second New Year's resolution that I want to share with you guys is something that literally changed my life for the better in terms of the quality and quantity of sleep that I'm getting. Sleep is just really, really important to me. Honestly, it's one of the most important factors in my lifestyle. With bad sleep or with not enough sleep, I'm really groggy, I'm really grumpy, I can get hangrier, all these negative things that I don't want affiliated with me. When I prioritize sleep, I try to get anywhere from 8 to 10 hours, but in the past, I actually got 8 to 10 hours of sleep, but I would wake up feeling like shit and I always wondered why and the reason being was I wasn't getting quality sleep due to certain factors certain factors that actually got in the way of my good sleep included texting people being on social media an hour before bedtime being on my computer being on the TV anything that emits blue light or any electronic devices really get in the way of your good sleep and when I put all of those devices away by 8 p.m. I felt so much better when I woke up at 6 or 7 a.m. for work 
In order to distract myself in this social media savvy type of world, you know when we put away our laptops, our phones, our TVs, we just sit there and then we have this addiction or this habit of reaching for the nearest electronic device. My tip for you guys and for me as well is to grab a book instead. I love picking up a paperback or a hardcover book. I have a huge list of books. If you guys want me to share that in a future YouTube video or in a blog, definitely let me know. I love sharing books with you guys. Honestly, books are actually one of the most hot topics on my Instagram stories or just the DMs. You guys love talking to me about books. So if you guys feel like you're having trouble sleeping and you know you're on your phone, your laptop, binging Netflix, then you're guilty of exactly what I was guilty for in the past and you can change that. Take the discipline and the time to put those devices away and to grab the nearest book. Other things you can do includes meditating, stretching, or even a skincare routine, which I highly, highly recommend because you guys know I'm a skincare enthusiast. Take an hour before bed to unwind and I am confident that you guys will get better sleep. Okay, awkward. I realized I was not wearing a bra for this video, but whatever, you guys probably didn't notice, so we're gonna move on. The second resolution is actually kind of tied in with the third resolution I have and that is signing off social media, putting your phone on do not disturb and getting rid of all of those electronic devices before 8 p.m. In this one click type of world that we live in, it's really easy to get distracted. Like we'd be working on a task and suddenly we're on our phone texting or we're answering an Instagram comment and you literally forget what you're doing the next second. I realized that I always had a to-do list in 2019 and I always wondered why am I not finishing the shit that I wrote down? But it's the fact that I kept letting myself get distracted by things that didn't need my attention at the moment. Instagram comments can wait. Certain emails can wait till the end of the day. Texts can wait until after the work shift or right before bedtime. I prioritized everything that didn't need to get prioritized. And in the end, and this caused my actual priorities to be pushed into the back burner. Moving forward in 2020, I don't want that to happen anymore. I want my priorities to stay a priority. But I also want to keep a balance on being able to keep in touch with friends or my network. What I really realize is when I put my phone on do not disturb, it has helped me tremendously. Not only am I not distracted by any random notifications that pop up, with do not disturb, you don't get any of that. You know when your screensaver lights up and you get a notification, it's easy to just look because it's a light that's flashing in your direction. You just get suddenly distracted or even worse, you open the app that had the notification and then you scroll down a mindless feed of all these things you don't need to see at the moment. I've been using the do not disturb feature for the last two weeks or pretty much since January. January 1st, 2020. I can say it has changed my life for the better. In fact, my phone is actually in my bedroom right now, away from this living room, and it is on Do Not Disturb. That way I am not distracted by anything while filming or in general throughout my Sunday. The fourth resolution I have for you guys is actually something that I've been struggling with as well for last year. This is including time slots on my daily or editorial calendar. Usually how I function or work is I have a to-do list of all these tasks I need to get done throughout the day. And sometimes I put a time slot on 12 p.m. wash muffin, 1 p.m. go to the gym. It was hard for me to put a start and an end time because I want things to be flexible and I hate rushing through certain errands or tasks. However, I want to see if putting an end time really changes my life for the better because you also don't want to breathe through life because if you do that you're not going to get anywhere close to being productive i don't think i'm going to do like those timer things where i work and then take a break so for the next few weeks i'm going to try this system out and see if it works for me if it doesn't totally okay just as long as i find a productive schedule and system that works for me that's all that matters and let me know in the comments below if timing yourself or giving yourself a time range works for you as long as i have a to-do list i'm happy with that but i want to see if i can push things further and be more productive by giving myself a timer for each task that I do. Okay, I'm getting excited because number five is something that relates to personally me. This is something that I have personally struggled with as an entrepreneur and I personally feel like this would resonate with some of you guys as well. Do you guys ever brainstorm like 20 creative visions that you want to bring to life or like 20 dreams or goals that you have? Everything sounds like such a great damn idea, but then when you actually want to follow through with it, you do none of it. I dreamed and thought of and brainstormed so many cool ideas that I want to add to my business that I overwhelmed myself because I just took in too much ambition or too much work. It just weighed me down even further. I ended up being less productive because I kind of scared myself silly from dreaming too much. My solution for this is instead of thinking of all these creative 20 ideas that you have that you want to put to life, why don't you just think of three solid ideas that you really feel like would work and actually follow through with at least one. There are so many things I wanted to do with Miss Michelle, my agency, but I got scared of doing it all because I knew 
personally, I couldn't handle all that workload and I scared myself silly, got more stressed, got more overwhelmed. And that was just a really bad idea. Isn't it funny when I wanna work super hard, but I just go too ham to the fact that I just scare myself. Like, I don't want that to happen anymore. So moving forward, if I have like 20 ideas, let's write these all down. Pick three out of the 20, be really strict on what actually resonates with you strongly. Pick one from there and actually follow through with it. If it doesn't work out, you got 19 more ways to fulfill those dreams or goals that you have. Out of the 19, I'm sure we'll find one that works for us. The best way moving forward of achieving any goal or any dream is actually following through with something that's convincible to you. And that is by actually just getting off your ass and doing it. Who cares if it doesn't work out? What matters is you actually try and knowing if it's worth it and if it resonates with you in the long term. If it doesn't resonate with you, take it as a learning lesson and move on. But if it does resonate with you, then you found something that was worth fulfilling. And those are my resolutions to a healthier 2020. I hope you guys can join me on this journey, incorporate any of these steps that you want that resonate with you guys. I know moving forward, these steps or resolutions will be great for benefiting or improving my overall health mentally, physically, spiritually. These are steps that all relate to my health. If I'm healthy, I will be the best individual I can be. I want to be able to spread that love, joy, happiness with my loved ones as well. So if I'm not taking care of myself, how can I take care of the people I love? I hope you guys resonate with any of these resolutions. If something caught your eye when I listed any of these, please let me know in the comment section below which resolution resonated with you guys the most or what resolutions you guys have of your own. If you guys want more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.